So, <laughs> what's up, everybody? How's it going? It's been Hi, a little good. while since we've done a last week in gaming. It's been a while. It's been a while. We were at MIGS last week, um, so a majority of what content you guys got was uh, for MIGS. Uh, but this week, we're back. And where are we? We are at Shea Geeks, your one-stop shop for everything board games and trading cards. Every week. Every single week. Every week. And uh, this week, we're going to start you guys off with an awesome little article about The Division. No. Oh. Mm. You know, I actually uh, made, the pay, made, made the turn from uh, playing on PS4 and started playing on PC. Oh, we know. Yeah, we yeah. know. We're very I know aware. You know. I'm, Espe- I'm, I know that you, especially you, you're very we're aware. very aware. I'm fairly salty about it because we already all had it on PS4 and now we can't all play together because unless somebody gives me a copy on PC, I ain't playing. And probably won't even run on my on my PC, um, but I'm working on that. No, anyway, well, you, we don't, all know it doesn't run on my potato, so no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So that poor potato man. But do we have news regarding? We do have news. Um, so um, for the longest time in the division, there was one zone, a safe house that you could warp into, and when you zone in, um, I don't know if it was because of a bug or whatever it was, but the second you would port in, you'd have somebody just like. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was just non-stop until you would leave the safe house it was so annoying and it took them how long to get rid of that oh they just recently got rid of it just a week now ago. yeah so about a year um well no it came out this year about when did, when did the division come out in march april-ish took a while it took a while damn but <coughs> you know it's one of those things where if nobody tells them they won't do they it. They take it for granted. They take it for granted. Yeah. It's like, you know, like, I know you, you can play test as much as you want, but at some point it's like things like these, these loops of, of sound bites or files that go through, just, yeah. they don't take it maybe to account. But it also involves like in priority, you know, maybe yeah, someone did notice. definitely not a priority. Because especially QA people, they would notice something like that because there's probably people who spend hours of hours in that safe house just trying to find shit and you hear they hear that like nonstop. And they probably point. They probably pointed it out, but because it's like <laughs> such a small priority thing, it never a, got addressed. Here's, here's a question for you guys: What do you think about something being removed just because players complained about it? That it was annoying. I know it's that has common. happened before. Yeah, it's it's, it's significant to the narrative. Uh, the woman crying. Yeah, but so uh, is that is that talking to players? Um, to the player's tendency to just be annoyed by other people's grief? Or do you think it's just like, oh, shut up already? Now we're getting philosophical here. That's right. I think I'll get philosophical. I think I know what I I have maybe a possible answer. Okay. I think it's the fact that it's it's not that it's the grief. It's that it's the repetitive repetitiveness of the same person grieving. Mm. I think that if they had alternated other people, other sounds, other male, female, children. Or that they have her do a loop that's more than just her standing by a memorial and crying. Exactly. So there's that. There's a guy, he's sad, a, a, ch- a child is, is crying, you know. Every now and then, just like, make sure it's not the same thing constantly. Mm-hmm. I think that would have been enough of a, you know, a non-repetitive mm-hmm. repetitiveness. That Although would, I'm pretty sure that it could be doable. Like, I, I find that that sometimes is... A really a, a big problem in this type of open world games is the adaptiveness of the environment like how much what you do affects the environment is like was there any way that you could have done things to stop this person from crying non-stop in that safe house you no know? because there she's literally there in front of a memorial it would crying. be great if there was a, a, a mission you could do to have or her stop yeah crying. yeah like a side mission side quest <laughs> bring her outside <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Kick her into a contaminated zone. <laughs> Let nature do its job. Now we're getting philosophical. So mean. <laughs> so yeah, well let's see. Uh, no, there's all a bunch of other big fixes that have come to. Uh, and that's the game is completely faith. different. That's why I have faith with the, uh, with the uh, the game company. They made a lot of adjustments. This is just another one out of the massive list of adjustments they've already done. Yeah. So, Especially all of them being so important. That's right. Like I'm 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 genuinely happy playing the game now. You, you'll, you will enjoy it just as much on PS4, just saying. No, you know why? Because I can actually aim. You know you can plug a keyboard and mouse into your PS4. What? You know You're you telling me this is just now? I, the fact that you never knew this baffles me. Baffles. You're telling me that I could... I have said it before? I did say it before. You're right. I, I've told You're you You're telling before. me that you can play the division with a, with a keyboard and mouse on PS4? On your PS4? Si. Si, senor. <laughs> si, senor. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks off screen. I still have the game, you know. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Um, a couple of weeks ago, we talked that Blizzard was doing Symmetra, a new uh, coat of paint. Yeah, we talked about it a while ago. More than a coat of paint, though. It's, yeah. Uh, not the overall slightly redesign. Slightly redesign. Rework her whole no. mechanics. But, but they did add something pretty cool. Yeah. Symmetra's the first hero to have two ultimates now. She is, indeed. Mm -hmm. And that's breaking the public test round. I did see that. I saw a couple of videos of the things that we're doing uh, with the Symmetra's new shields because apparently they have collision, I think. Yes. yes. So people were just doing shield after shield after shield yep. after shield. And Infinite jumping shields. Yep. Out of bounds, jumping as high as they could. Yep. It was... Um, it was something. All right. It so, was something. Uh, Symmetra's first and before only ultimate was that she would place a teleporter. Now, this would mean that early game, it's very useful. But Blizzard found out that the more the game advanced, the it's less useful, useless. the, yeah, the less useless. it was being used. Yes, because the less you have to walk to get where you are. Exactly. Uh, so they decided to rework that, and now she has a second ultimate, which is, I think it gives all of her allies in the vicinity of the shield uh, protection. Yeah, it's, well, a shield it's a shield it's generator. It's a shield generator. Shield exactly. generator. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty useful. And they also rework her uh, portal a little bit, giving it a little bit more shields. Yes, they changed the health of her portal to add shields on there. So that it actually regenerates a little bit because, you know, they were saying that the... Oh, how do you say that? Teleporter was too much of an easy target, basically. Yeah, it was. It was. It was indeed. Uh, but the question is, do you choose which ult you do? You have. You do. Whenever yeah, you can reach 100%. Yeah, it's exactly like... Um, and this is a cool fact for people who don't know. Uh, when May puts up her ice wall, you can press E again to change from vertical to horizontal. Like, I did not know that. Yeah, now you do. Oh, well, there you um, go. So it's the same I thing. You press, you press Q, it's her teleporter, and you repress Q. And then it's, uh, her, it's, then shield. it's her shield generator, and you just right click or left click on your mouse. Oh, nice. So it's a bringing in kind of Heroes of the Storm vibe a little bit. A little bit, if you put it in a way that they're starting to give multiple ultimate choices, I guess. Yeah. Sure. So interesting news from uh, the No Man's Sky front. Oh sure, and I have some interesting news about that too. After you're done. Oh, uh, you do. Sure. That's uh, I didn't know that. Little comment. Wait, wait, wait. A little, no a man, little this comment. much No Man's Sky news at once? Yes. I can't, handle, I can't it. handle the news. There's more news than there is gameplay. <laughs> actually, I think the update is actually already live. So yeah. Basically, there's a new update. Mm -hmm. They finally broke their silence after how long? Three, two, three months? July two months? now, four months? July four three, months. Three, almost four months, yeah. Yeah. Without taking into account the little uh, yeah, the, the little hacking fiasco, whatever stuff they, that happened there. But they finally... Hacking fiasco. Yeah, they finally pronounced themselves and they announced that they're releasing a new update uh -huh. for the game uh -huh. that is adding base building. Oh, so it still doesn't add fun. So wait, 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 I thought the point okay. of the game was to be like opposite of Minecraft in the sense that you were exploring constantly and now you have a home base? I don't think that they know what they want to do with their game. That's the thing. If anything, something that they should have added instead of base building is ship building. Or a that game. That would have already helped. Or a game. They could have added a game to it. That would like be fun. Features. It, yeah. Features. <laughs> oh, oh, but, but they, they, they did finally add stacks. For, for items, yeah, you can stack oh. items more than before. Oh, wow. So now you don't have to carry 20 uh, stacks, the stacks of the same thing because you keep running out of energy. Wow. Nice. Good job. You um, learned something Diablo no 2 Sky. learned in 1998. I'm sure your 10 players are going to enjoy it. There's another comment about... about uh, Hello Games. Hello Games. Is, uh, they had recently, as you all know, we were at uh, Montreal International Game Summit. Yeah. And um, Ines... I don't remember her family name, but she was the programmer in charge of um, procedural generation, and she was supposed to have a talk. <coughs> you make it sound like there was more than one programmer. There were a lot of programmers. But there were only six people. Oh, I thought you meant at the at the event. Sorry. Mm. Oh, no, on the... Uh, yeah, no. But it was written that, that that was her title. Anyway, she was supposed to give a talk. We were supposed to get an interview from her. Um... And I, oh, big surprise. 
the only canceled conference speaker of the entire event was Ines McKendrick from oh, Hello Games. I, I remember her name now. now. Yeah. Ines McKendrick from Hello Games canceled and didn't show up. So, ooh, what I think their expect? radio silence is continuing a little bit more than we thought it was. Not surprised. They probably didn't want to make her have to take all the brunt of everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they saw it coming. It's like, ah, you can go give a talk about this, this procedural, this procedural generation. generation. But I'm pretty sure that 50% of what's going to happen is people are going to ask you what the fuck is going on at Hello Games. Oh, yeah, Q&A would last forever. Yeah. So they needed a safe space. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't going to end well if she was there. That's no, for sure. It wouldn't have ended well for her. I wanted to get a what? real introspective interview out of it, but, you know, sucks. But Hello Games, if you're still interested, uh, let me know. Enos. What, what's the I'll most interesting about the announcement, though, is the fact that they said that they listened to all the feedback, both good <laughs> and negative. They said that one <laughs> And so I was before. sitting there going, so you guys were in your office going... <laughs> 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 it immediately reminds me of that scene in How I Met Your Mother where Robin is under her desk with a bottle of wine crying and ringing. <laughs> probably. That's probably a very good depiction that's of Hello probably Games. Probably all of them, yeah. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much that that covers that. Make a game. Just an interesting fact. Good. I checked. Just do it. Steam charts. Make a huge. There is there is never more <laughs> there is never more than that a thousand players playing No Man's Skies no, at any a, point. They, they lost their entire player base. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a Everyone's shit. Everyone's on Elite Dangerous and uh, the other one that's going to come out. I Star Citizen. Star, Star Citizen. Citizen. Yeah, well, Lead Dangerous is another story. Mm.